Don't overthink it. It's just paint. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. My name is Brian. On this episode, we're going to go ahead and finish up this MDX that had some front end damage. Now, we already put the hood and the fender on, and then it's now time to attack the rest of it. So let's get started. All right, and now with everything installed, we can take a look at the underside of the hood. We can see how it has that matte uh, blue finish. I tell you, these guys are really cutting out material on these vehicles. Uh, we can see it all matches up in here. Now, one thing I do wanna go back and fix, and we'll see in this episode real quick, is uh, I sprayed this a bit too shiny. I meant to leave it a little bit more dull. And you can see right here that uh, it's, it doesn't match the, uh, the same sheen. So what I'll do is I'll just get a little scuff later on, and I'll just put some clear base over there with hardener, like the same thing, and then it will match much better. We don't want to give a dead giveaway. So we have a couple more things still to put on the hood, a couple more stickers, all the grommets, everything is in. All these clips are completely replaced. These are one-time clips. So when you're doing insurance, make sure you go ahead, you order everything you need. I ordered about 30 of these uh, to do the job. Now, another thing that I did use is this gapping tool, which is really, really helpful and uh, it just really makes it easy to compare gaps on the hood. And uh, sometimes, you know, when we're putting all these pieces together, we don't have a reference on the car. Well, thank God we work at a dealership. There's about 10 more of these sitting right on the lot. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and install those couple stickers. We'll get the headlights installed, and then we will get the, um, our, our carpet installed. We are still waiting on one piece. It is the headlight beam. And I've got to tell you, back orders have been driving us insane. So if you've been dealing with back orders, let me know because it really just delays these vehicles. So let's get started. Let's get these parts on the car so we can start smoothing out the paint just a little bit more. All right, so we're good to go. We got our two headlights installed. Now, one of the beams that we're waiting on is right there. Um, so I think we can still pop it in. I just want to make sure my headlight was good. You know, you, I did do my test fit, but it's crazy how things change after you get paint. Um, I might even pull the headlight out because I want to give this a little bit of a rub down. I got a, maybe one or two little nibs. I'm going to, what I like to do is pretty much just go over it with 2000 very lightly because I do not want to remove the peel. So I'll just do, I usually just do the top areas uh, right into here. And then I'll probably just carry it a little bit into the door because I got a little, I mean, uh, barely. I mean, that's pretty much OEM texture. So I'm not going to go too aggressive, to, to, to be honest. I don't want to, I don't want to take it out and then, you know, give a dead giveaway that this has been uh, resprayed. So I actually buffed the hood already. I was doing a test panel. So I took out that dirt that I talked to you about in the last episode and I still have a couple areas. Now that's in 3000. I'll probably take this up to 10, uh, excuse me, to 8,000 on all of my buffing because I'm, I'm changing the way I buff a little bit and I really want to refine my scratch a lot. So let's get into it. 2000, 3000, probably 8,000. And then I have a one step polish.
And with this side down, it looks phenomenal. Now we took this a 3000 grip and uh, with the one step, it's actually the swirl remover. I've been using it from uh, Turbo Wax. I'm kind of getting a little sick of 3M right now with uh, their compounds and everything. And just, uh, you know, perhaps maybe I'm not doing it properly or perhaps it's not the best compound, but come back the next day and it looks like we didn't even buff. I'm really loving the way it's looking. So we're using uh, a combination of uh, two buffers here. We have a, this is like a six and a half inch pad and uh, I believe a three inch pad. And I just learned all about using this type of buffer. I believe it's a random orbital buffer. Um, but anyways, uh, coming over here, what we did is I sanded it up to 8,000. You can see it's much more, uh, I would say, glossier than the other side. Now you might ask yourself, what's gonna be flat in this spot? And how come we didn't do the whole area? Well, no, it was a little bit, uh, some dirt here and there, and it was a little bit of fine, fine texture. So I leveled it out to match the rest of the vehicle. So you won't see the transition here at all. What you don't want to do is flatten it out completely with like maybe a thousand grit because then that's going to be a dead giveaway. Yeah, it might look beautiful, but it won't uh, match the texture of the rest of the vehicle. So we'll go ahead with that one step once again and get this side all finished up. All right, well, we got all the panels buffed completely, and I gotta say, this thing is looking really, really good. Uh, learning a lot with those uh, new polishers, and uh, I know out in the sun, I'm not gonna have to worry about any sort of uh, buffer trails or holograms, because I've done it the right way. So at this point, we're ready to start to get the rest of the vehicle back together. We'll assemble the door, um, and then we'll put our emblems on. We're still waiting on the bracket. We found um, one out in California, so. That will get shipped to us, and now should be the last part of the puzzle. So let's go ahead and get started on getting it back. Now uh, we finally got the headlight bracket piece. We're gonna finish mounting it up. It's got two bolts here and two underneath, and then we'll be able to pop the bumper on. Headlight bracket is on. Let's go ahead and let's get this thing all finished up. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for this one. It's completely done. You guys remember what this looked like when it came in and it looks totally different. I'm really happy with it and I hope you learned something along the way in this little mini series. I'm hoping that this is the end of this series completely and we'll never have to work on this again and the customer will be nice and safe. I hope you learned something guys. If you wanna support the channel, head over to paintsocietystore.com. As always guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. Let's get this thing washed up and let's check it out. <laughs>